start date, October 18th, 2010. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> sorry, I just wanted to do that really quick. I'm on my way to Parts Unknown again because it's a Monday. You guys know how much, before it was Fridays, now it's Mondays. Now you guys know how much I love Mondays and we had an amazing weekend. We did so much stuff. And now we are headed to who knows where. I have to, I have to try to maintain the uh, levels of energy that we had over the weekend for today. But I don't know what to do. So we're heading that way. Just bleh, that way. I have to imagine there's something over there eventually. Now this right here is what I like to do. I like it. This road, I have been down hundreds of times. I've never actually really been down it. Does that make any sense? Like I've never like just driven down here to see what I find. I've like just, you know, driven down here to go somewhere, but I've never been down here to explore. Wonder what I'll find. Probably like a dollar store. Eastbound or down and I need a haircut. Maybe I will get one tomorrow. Oh, a Halloween parade. No, oh, no, 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 no. I lied. The sun is blinding me in my face, so that means that I'm headed west. Oh. Turned off the road here, and apparently it's a fancy town. Look at the size of these houses, they're huge. I think I found this so-called Wakaiva Island. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna we're gonna have a look-see around. Wow, it feels good out here, and I don't, I don't know what this place is, but uh, I think I'm supposed to pay to be here, so we're just gonna kinda keep it quiet and on the down low and kinda take a look around first. It's pretty awesome. This is... Oh man, look at how clear the water is. It's amazing. Now oh, there's trash down there. Darn tootin'. See, it's places like this that are like quintessential Florida. This right here, this is Florida. And it's great too, because I can like sit down right here and just dangle my feet in the water. Maybe something will come and join me. I went to go test the ground to see how sturdy it was. Not so sturdy at all. We are on the root system of these trees right here. That's what's holding us up. There's nothing underneath there. That place over there must be like a crazy bar or something. There's like a party going on. People are, oh, there's babies screaming now, but there was like stuff, people yelling and music playing and blaring. It was crazy sounding. Okay, I think we figured it out a little bit at least. You have to pay money to launch your kayaks or canoes here, but I don't know, I don't know if I have to pay anything. Wow, this is a rickety little walkway. Much more ricketier than I am used to. I don't know if you have to pay anything just to walk around though. I'm not sure. No, I... It's definitely like a bar. It looks like they're having like a wedding or something. This is bizarre. This place is really weird. How cold do you guys think the water is right here? This is easy enough for me to just walk into. Let's find out. Looks like a bass sitting right there too. Look at that. All right, here we go. Ooh, oh, that's not bad. It's slippery though. Wow, that's pretty interesting. I guess there's planes or something that fly over and watch and make sure that you're boating correctly. Well, <laughs> there's something big off in the woods out there. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> I guess that's why they saw no fishing off of here because there's like a ton of fish out here. I don't, you guys can't see them, but they're all in there. They're all over the place. See, and this is why sometimes going off and exploring, it, it works out. Some of you guys are always like, oh, I wish that I had that kind of stuff near my house. We don't have anything. And then you, you have to, wow, look at that sunset. And there it is. And you just have to take a look at, just, just take my advice. Just go, just go somewhere. Adventure a little bit and see what you find. Cause right now, like there's a turtle right there. I'm looking at a turtle moving all that water around. I had no idea this place was here. I just started driving and I said, hmm, I wonder what's this way. I, I saw, I opened up my, my GPS on my phone and it said, I saw a little thing that said Wakaiva Landing. That's what this, this place is, it's called Wakaiva Landing. And I said, hey, let's go there. Somebody had mentioned it in the chat, which I might not be in tonight, but I'll be in tiny chat, definitely on Tuesday, nine o'clock my time, I'll be there. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay, but we'll be there. So, but And somebody had mentioned this place, and I was like, I don't, I have no idea where that is, but if I happen to go by it, we'll stop by. I didn't know that it was here. I just happened to be driving down here, and then I saw it on my maps, and I was like, hey, let's stop by and see what it is, and this is what it is. I am standing on a dock next to a beautiful Florida water that is nice and cool and clear. And you never know. This might be right in your own backyard. Well, not this, unless you live here but something just amazing like this. Oh no, somebody just asked somebody else if they were a vampire or not. Ooh, they might be. Look at this, I could totally sit in those chairs and just look down the river. And I don't think that anybody will care because this is like, this is a bar up here, so 
Uh, I think they get all their money from bar type stuff. It's pretty awesome. Look at, I'm like on the river right here. I can see the flow starts down there by the bar. You guys can see the bar and all the people down there. And then it just flows this way on down the river. So nice. I bet you during, I don't know what time of year it would be, but like manatees. I bet you you'd be able to see manatees just like bloop, 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 swimming on by. Some time of year if you were sitting here. As a matter of fact, I thought I just saw something right there. That's why I was like, what? Looks like trash, doesn't it? But it's just like the lily pads getting ready to spring up like all those over there. This is, this place is awesome. I could totally come out here and like chillax for, you know, like my word there, chillax. The only problem is I sort of have to keep moving around because there are bugs biting my face off. And the other thing is the music's not, not like terrible. It's country music and it's sort of old country music, but I kind of like old, kind of, I like old, old country music, but this is like 80s, it's like straight 80s country music, but it's not like overpoweringly loud. Like you guys probably, listen, you guys hear it off in the background there? I hear the bugs louder than the country music, which is fantastic by me because it's like, hey, just a little bit of ambiance in there, just a little bit. It's either a wedding or they're taking like homecoming pictures or something over there. I don't know what it is. It's, it's interesting, they got photographers and everything. Can you guys see the amount of bugs that are like flying around my head right now? I, I got this HD camera, so I can imagine that you would be able to see them flying around my head. Can you? See all the fish swimming across the, the lily pads that I pointed out to you? I just had one of those feelings again where I was like, I better put the strap on my camera around my wrist <laughs> because this could turn out terribly. I wonder what happens when it starts to get real crazy like late at night here when all the drunks come stumbling out of that bar and they're like, hey look, there's some water right there. Let's jump in. Or do you think people like actually like, I live right down the street so I'm just gonna swim. And everybody's like, that's a, a bad idea. Like the alligators come out at night. You know that, right? And he's like, yeah. Alligators, smalligators, I live right there, I'm gonna make it. And then next thing, he comes back the next week with one arm and they're like, hey, what happened to your arm? He's like, eh, swimming home the other night wasn't such a good idea, the alligator got me. <laughs> right as soon as I started talking about the alligator, there was something big that jumped down there. Like, you guys remember seeing when the alligator was like right in front of me in the kayak and it was like, and it like swam away, away, away real fast like that. And it made this huge splash. That just happened over there. I don't know if it was an alligator or not. I'm not saying there's an alligator right here. I'm just saying it was a big fish or turtle or an alligator. Something. Something. Yeah, it was a big fish. They are literally right there. And you can't see them. But they are... Uh, what? Like, this is going to be one of my fishing stories. Like, I wish I had two hands, but I'm holding the camera up. Say from this side of my ear, they were like that big. <sighs> That's a big fish, and they're bass, too. <laughs> that is why you can't fish from here, because the biggest fish in the world are right here, I guess. Ooh, this sounds exciting. Something's happening. Somebody's coming up the river. Let's see who it is. Whoa. It was some guys out fishing, and little did I know, they just passed right over top of the biggest fish I've ever seen in my life, or the biggest bass, I should say. Right there. <laughs> and see, here I was thinking that maybe it had something to do with, like, the DJ, just, like, country or something like that. No, they're just listening to the radio up at the bar. <laughs> Really? And it didn't even like register. I'm like sitting here thinking like, man, this is a long commercial break for that DJ. And I'm like, commercial break? And then they started playing songs and it was like this, the, the stager comes in like, Doo -doo 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 -doo, you're listening to 109612, home of today's country music. This place would be awesome right about now if there weren't so many bugs out here biting my face off. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. I probably shouldn't have taken a shower before I come out here, came out here because that's probably what's doing it. These dragonflies are out here like protecting me though. Thank you, dragonflies. Did you guys know that? Bats, dragonflies, they do the same thing. They eat uh, eat mosquitoes and little bugs. So they're they're out here feasting upon the bugs that are attacking my face off. I'm like trying to talk to you guys and like swap my head at the same time, but I had my phone in this hand and I was like trying to upload a daily booth pick and I'm like, gotta keep talking through the bugs, but I can't use this hand. And I'm like, no, I got it. Should have known, don't have enough of a signal out here to upload anything to Daily Booth. Good news is we've got a new place to launch the kayaks that uh, will not uh, end up costing us too much because the only other place to launch the kayaks in here is at the spring, which is a, a state park, so you can't, but wow, there's a lot of bugs. So it would cost way more than $6. Although, if it's $6 per kayak, it might be cheaper to go, I'll figure it out. Why am I discussing this on camera? Look at the sunset. Come on, where are you? There, yeah, there it is, it's so nice. 
For some reason, standing out on this dock, there are uh, no bugs attacking my head, but there were right over there. I just want to go snorkeling up in here. That's it. <laughs> Walking across the bridge as far as bugs go, that was a different story. I actually just walked into a cloud of them and I could actually feel them like hitting my head and getting stuck in my hair. You guys grossed out yet? I'd call that a pretty good adventure here to uh, just about sunset. So let's head on back down the road. Why did I end it like that? I don't know. So here's the problem. Last night we made cookies. Jen made cookies. I shouldn't say we. She did all the work. And we keep them on a plate. And then you put them in the microwave when you're not eating them. And when I'm using the microwave, I have to take out this plate of four delicious cookies. I want to eat those cookies right now. I must maintain. We have to share. Sharing is caring. Now that was quite an adventure. I'm pretty glad that we went today. I would call today a success. Yes. I'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price. Don't forget tinychat.com slash the Tim Tracker tomorrow. Uh, information be down there. I'll put it down there tonight. And then also there's a chat room that I go to every night at nine down there. Uh, TimTracker.chatango.com. Come to it. Talk to me. Nine o'clock. My time. PM. Both of them. Tuesdays, tiny chat, every other day, chat tango, 9 o'clock. Be there. Be square. tonight is a little bit of a, a brain stinger on my part. It was Emmett 589 and I think they told me that they were from Ocala in one of the chats, like maybe the tiny chat, but I can't particularly remember. So em, I need you to I need you to send me a comment back and tell me where you're from and you asked for a green pin and I got a green pin here for you. And I think you're from Ocala and I could totally be wrong and like just like offending you terribly, but I'm gonna put this pin in the Gulf of Mexico for right now, and then when you send me a message back, I'm gonna put it over where it really is, and then I'll just put a real quick shot of it on the way out of the video, whenever I realize where you're from. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right, right here, just like middle of the Gulf of Mexico, hanging out right there. Of course, there's another pin already in the Gulf of Mexico for the oil spill. That's our black dot of sadness. Our next uh, subscriber is Vixen, and they are from Austin, Texas, and they thought that there was already a pin in Austin, Texas, but guess what? There isn't. No, no, no. You are the first one. See that? That black pin right there going right into Austin? Yeah, the only one.